are on the MSC Splendida. So we got a a balcony cabin and we're quite close to the bridge, which is pretty cool, love. But on a couple cruises. And never once have I been close to the bridge. So yeah, let's get into the review. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on a ship model. So this is, of course, the MSC ship model. This is an official model by MSC. And it's the MSC Splendida model. Which is actually pretty cool, considering that I am on the MSC Splendida, as you heard. So yeah, we're not going to talk much about the box. It's just two MSC logos and it's a Splendida. And this is a composite model, which I've been seeing lately. So yeah, let's open it up. So uh, here's where you can see that it's biodegradable. So you can um you can open it like that. Pretty simple. You can see like this wood this wood stand which you can't take out. It is like glued to the model. Mm -hmm. So it's kinda hard to actually take this thing out. Um so I'm gonna open it from the other side. Let's push it out like that. Go. Go. Got the box. Box is pretty light. The model is pretty heavy, like extremely heavy. I mean, it's quality. This cost me, I think, uh, fifty-four bucks US. And <laughs> you got like a bit of a surprise box over here. This is your MSC Splendida over here. This little emblem. So this is your the MSC logo again, and it says your MSC Splendida. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. So there, easy. It's like a little little box kind of thing. And here is the model, guys. This is a, I mean, it's not painted, really. No, it's not. It's basically not painted at all. But I mean, this is. Pretty good. I mean, this is the first uh, ship model that I've had. So, first impressions, this is absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy in detail. Again, it's fixed onto the base. I don't want to hold the ship in case, you know, an accident happens or something. But, you can see, um, this is all, this is full metal, full metal, uh, full metal. <laughs> crazy actually the, it's got like some shiny little components like shiny little bulb things um bring it up to the camera you can see how good this looks actually if we just look around through around the model you can see the front other side and the back so is getting ways of sloshing the cabin around right now. It's not that bad. So yeah. Um fully metal as I was saying. It's got some plastic bits, but I think it's only this one little piece on the top. Like some like a dome kind of thing. I don't know. But yeah, let's get on to the details. So here's the model. And actually something funny. I figured out the light right now. It's this button over here. I'm super dumb. But let's uh, look at the model. I'm going to start from the front. So again, it's not painted. Nothing really special. And you can see how shaky the camera is. Because obviously we're on a ship. So let's take a look over here. Zoom in a bit. So as you can see over here, you have, I think these are, I don't know what these are. These look like propellers to me. Well, not like propellers. Uh, 
you know, thing that prepared, uh, that, you know, turn around. It's kind of funny. Because it's like pool, I guess. And this is a pool. Over here. Um, not really much to say about this model. But, um, you can see, uh, these things are engraved into the metal. You can see the anchor. It says here, MSC Splendida. And, like, a bunch of, bunch of things. So, actually, if you look over here, I think, yeah, like, right down here is where I am staying right now. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I always find it cool when I have a model of a ship that I've been on and I'm on a point like, hey, I've been there before. But as you can see, you got different floors. Now I, I'm on the ship right now, and I can tell you this thing is hard to navigate. Like, honestly, this is yeah, just such a cool model. I mean, there's not much to say about this model. It's it's very detailed, but it's just metal. So here you have the bridge, all right. Um, got those uh, metal engraved windows, like just to give some, actually make it look like a bridge, not just um, like a metal shape. So you got the cabins over here, as you, as I told you, um, somewhere down there, up here, I don't know. And um. Yeah, it's just a bunch of cabins. <laughs> Not much. Um, the best thing I like about this is that it has this like little thing where you just go, like that. It just goes in. See the lifeboats on top over here. So, speaking of lifeboats, here they are. They're, they're molded onto the ship itself. And they look pretty stunning, too. They're, they have the little lights, um, I mean, little windows, stuff like that. It's actually kind of hard for my camera to focus. But so, here's some portals at the bottom. Over here. Some tiny ones, like the big ones. I've been down there before. I mean, you can't even say that. Like, this is actually where we bought it. We bought it in the middle right here. And if you're wondering what these two, like, vertical doors are. So, right now, we're uh, going to Mozambique, I think. It's a place called the Portuguese Islands. And these things, they have, like, little rafts. And then, like, the doors, like, open, like, like that. And, like, tiny little rafts and stuff will be let down for you to board from there. So, that's... Uh, all you could see, you could see this <laughs> super cool MSC um, logo also engraved in here. Looking ourselves to the back. And the top is where most of the detail is. You can see more of the detail. I'm sure some of the clubs are over here. Like, you have, like, some clubs. So you can see that everything over here. I can't even move this thing with one hand. It's so heavy. Okay, so we get onto the back. Not much detail. Here, it's just engraved stuff. It says MSC Splendida. I think that's a, I think that's a defect right there, huh? Yeah, they, there is a bit of a defect, but not much to mind. It's pretty, it's pretty small, actually. You can see, like, a little dent over there and some... Some, I guess some accent paint has leaked over there. And then we go into the other side. Not much else, actually. It's basically the same thing, but on the other side. But my god, does this thing look nice. So, um, let's go to the top. So, here's the top. The top is where most of the detail is, actually. So, we're going to start off from the back. 
So you got two pools, I guess these are tiny jacuzzis. And you got these like like these chairs for you to relax on. And what amazes me about chips all the time is that how big they've gotten over the years. I mean when you're looking at, at this you can see the actual size of a human compared to the chip over here. So you you got these little I think these are little like bars for people to buy things and stuff. And then moving on to the top, you got the I think this is um a tennis court actually. Tennis court. There's some random things. These are probably yeah, I think these are doors that go down. Maybe like walk, walk, walk. It's like an elevator or something. Got the funnel over here. Not much detail actually. This is uh, separately footed and painted. Here you can see it's painted white on the MSC logo. And it's got like a satin, satin silver look to it. And there's like some grills and stuff. So these, um, what's exhaust like funnels, yeah? So, we're going on to this tiny little slide over here, which is my favorite part about the model. And there's a, there's a bit more than that, but I can zoom in over here and show you the slide. I actually want to go on the slide, but, um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then we get on to some more relaxing areas. Some more place to sunbathe, I guess. Like, again, look look at this. This is all, like, metal, like, just molded detail. But you can still see, I guess, almost everything about the ship. So this, I do believe, is separately fitted. And it has a slightly different finish to the normal, uh, to the normal model, which is... Uh, the normal metallic kind of look on the model. Again, I just can't get over the detail. I think that's a tiny jacuzzi, if I'm right. Over here. Then over here, you get to, like, the centerpiece kind of main area on the top of the deck over here. So you got so many pools, so, so many pools. And I... I do remember always going up these stairs and just thinking I'm gonna fall down <laughs> over the ship. Oh man. The detail, you just just look at the detail and admire these things. And I've had memories on ships before. So you can see like some steps. There's like the main pool over here. There's two jacuzzis. I believe this one over here is the kids jacuzzi and there's supposed to be a little statue but I think that was too small to fit onto the model. There's, there's normally like a buffet and stuff around here but again this is metal molding so you won't have extreme extreme detail like model kits. Now turning the model you can see uh, I've been over here before. I think there's like a pool in here. Yeah, yeah, there's a pool over here. Just underneath these uh, like little windows over here. They aren't tinted, they are normal. Starting to get windy out. It's almost night where I am right now at the time of videoing. So I think this is like, I think this is a fully adult section over here. Or like a private section for adults and stuff again some more of the of the crisp molding and here's a plus uh, the plastic piece it's actually a pretty solid plastic piece but it's since it's a bit like a bit hard it it might break if you force it but again i don't encourage that if you get this model and i do believe that this model is only available when you go into the ship where you get the ship that you're on. So say you're on the MSC Symphonia, I guess. You will get the model of the MSC Symphonia. Now we're coming back to the front. 
And again, there's not much detail, it's just metal. And I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the. That's all. It's actually kind of hard to focus the camera. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.